Reap. Can you hear it? Welcome to Relay. Hello. What am I saying? And welcome to the relay station. Words. Yes. What am I wearing? Pants. I hope. What am I doing? Real hope. That I do not know. I really don't. But do any of us. What are you doing right now? Yes, you. You there with the eyes and the ears and the neck. Oh, come on. What if a person who's watching doesn't have eyes? Then I'm not talking to them. <laughs> Ash, at yes. least you have a neck. <laughs> I do. I think you'll find you oh my. not talking to the ones without ears. Um, Nakara is currently roaming Mars, riding the last Mar of the Martian moose. He joins us now by psychic teleconference. How did uh, the Martian moose go extinct? Overcrowding. <laughs> Fastcart okay. is currently orbiting an as yet undiscovered planet around Alpha Centauri, hanging out there in a spaceship because he feels like it. He joins us via FTL communications. Aye. Uh, Shiver is currently in, uh, let me read this, see if I can get this correct. Uh, Britagen, the Onionated Kingdom. The UK Corral? Sounds yeah. right. Uh, I'm really tired this week, so that's about as much as my brain came up with for an intro. I'm sorry. Uh, I liked it. Yeah. It, it very much reflected exhausted Eris. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm tired. Where are you joining us from today? Hi, Tide. I'm Fast Cart. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm joining us from a basement that lacks beer. Oh, that's a big problem. Because I drank it all and ran out. So it's not a beer cellar? No. Well, I mean, we have, we have a few minutes. You can, you can run to the store and come back. At least you can run, right, fast cut? Right. I already, I already did ah. that joke, thank you. Ah. <laughs> How's everyone in the chat doing? Hi, chat. It's going to be one of those shows. I yep. can tell right now. <laughs> So, straight up, I spent all week trying to uh, evict a crackhead from one of the apartments that I rent. Uh, so, that's basically all I did this week, and now I'm incredibly exhausted um, and really need beer. Uh, but Eric, we're going to do this show. I just have to ask, can you give my cousin a second chance? He really <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> no! No second chances! Okay, so, uh, yeah, sub You're not going to say thank you to Shiver Bass for me? I, I did the wave. <laughs> I, I thank people with the wave. I don't thank them with words. Shiver, do you need me to thank you with words? Thank you, Shiver. <laughs> I, I would like you to know how much I appreciate you and your, your sub there. Um, it, you know, there's, there's not much that brings me joy or completion as a person quite so much as someone subbing to the relay station um there's just there you know there are a lot of really good feelings in life uh proposing to to my fiance finding out that i was going to have a child um you know all those kinds of things uh and none of them come even close to the the warmth and the camaraderie and the absolute um, friendship that I feel when someone someone subscribes to the Twitch channel. So from the bottom, from the very bottom of my heart, thank you, Shiver. I'll say it again with feeling. <laughs> 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 <laughs 
No. Um, so that's where we are this week. Uh, where's how's how? That's where. Sorry, that's where I am this week. <laughs> We're not all uh, in a crack then. Uh, not. <laughs> uh, you've only had one drink. One drink, and you only sound like you're drunk. Yup. <laughs> That's just that's this week. Uh, how are you doing this week, Fastcart? I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you for being I, on. I, I, I thank you for having me. I, I I didn't get a new cart or a new car, but this, today is the anniversary of getting my new cart last year. Nice. So you're you're still enjoying that new cart? I remember there was some. You you were talking about how it didn't. I think was it. Where was were you saying that it didn't turn as well as the old cart that you had? It does turn as well, but I'm I'm getting yeah I'm, I've got used to it. Awesome. It, it the 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 steering wheel you have to how can I play it? it you have to turn it more to get it to turn more. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it, 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 it doesn't it make does. sense to shiver. <laughs> Nothing makes sense to shiver. That's just, oh. That makes that makes oh. perfect sense. It's, you you turn it more to make yourself go. In the direction you turned it more. What? You ever had yes. power stealing? Like you can you can turn it a little bit, and, and the car turn t- turn a lot. Have it's you just tried like leaning a... in with it? <laughs> I I do that anyway. Uh, Flint... I saw in the Batman movie, he just threw a rope out, and it just caught onto things. Could you do that, Flint? I don't uh, thank you. Thank you for the subscription. Um, this this whole thing star citizen as a whole has has brought a lot of new people that i've i never knew before uh it introduced me to to everyone here on the cast nakara shiver and fastcart but also introduced me to to flint who i i very much admire as a person um as a human and i very i i just want flint to know how much i appreciate uh him and his subs so so thank you uh flint for subbing it 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 means as much as it does to me when Shiver does. So everything I said when Shiver subbed, um, yeah. No, I'm not okay well, today, there, Flint. <laughs> well, there is one thing. It, it also introduced you to Dovac, so. Again, in point. the style of Romeo and Juliet. Uh, oh, dear God. <laughs> next time. Him. Maybe next time. Uh, Shiver, how are you doing this week? I'm so tired. You're tired. Last night, and I can't sleep in hot. Hot bad. Hot bad. Hot bad. Uh, air hot conditioning. Bad. I, I, yeah. You should condition Just have some magical air conditioning fairy visit me, shall I? <laughs> yes, you should. Totally. Why, why haven't you had your, the, the visit from the, the fairy? fairy? Nakara, save me. How are you doing this week? <laughs> save, me, save me from myself. I don't know. That, that's a tall order. I feel a lot like a piece of jerky this week. Really? Smoked? Yeah. Dried out? Well, and... Smoked and dried, yeah. 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 Uh, it's really hot here, and there's gigantic wildfires, which are clouding the city with enormous clouds of smoke. So, ain't good. <laughs> I have to admit, of all the things that could come out of the car's mouth, feeling like a piece of jerky was not among them. How about you? <laughs> no, uh, feeling like a piece of... I, I, was, I was expecting maybe a flambe or a barbecue or like a roast of some sort. I wasn't expecting jerky, but it makes sense. This is coming oh, by the way, people, I'm on a show today, so you, you, have, to, you have to pick up, pick up the snack and ask questions, because I'm not, I'm I'm not going to be... It's yeah. true. Fastcart yeah. normally asks about half of our questions, so we need everyone else to ask some questions. So, ask us some questions. Me, it wouldn't surprise me if he just asks questions anyway. I'm, I yeah, kind of well, does. It depends. <laughs> <laughs> just, just use a, a pseudonym. That's what the word is. Yes. So ask them under a pseudonym. Okay. I'm surprised you actually remembered that word. At oh, it was it was hard. <laughs> okay. Uh, do we want to go straight into the videos, or is there anything else Star Citizen related to talk about this week before we move over to the videos? Do you want to chat briefly about the lawsuit? Yeah, let's do yeah, that. Yeah, I'm going to say that. There's a lawsuit. Oh. Yeah, there's a lawsuit. Yeah. <laughs> so what is what is the latest on the lawsuit? Nakara, can you give us a, a quick rundown? 
uh, basically, um, Crytek had been asking for more time um, for the most recent like submission, and uh, but you know. Um, CIG put forth a whole bunch of evidence that Crytek hadn't actually been trying to move things forward at all. And so the judge told them to go pound sand and they weren't going to get an extension. And so uh, I think the next time this will be in court is June 28th. Um, and uh, basically where they're at right now is that CIG won't proceed with any any settlement discussions unless Crytek puts up uh, $2 million in cash in case they lose the case. Ah. Um, and cr it sounds like Crytek is having trouble coming up with some money. At least that's the speculation. So Yeah, Crytek is trying to say that they can't c settle and do the um, other stuff at the same time, but the judge said, yes, you can. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and we, in, and of course, as legal things go, the saga continues on. Hopefully. Yeah. More of this for a while. Shiver, any uh, analysis uh, from you? I think the car has summed it up pretty much precisely. Okay. Yeah, what I was going to say, yeah, can, just can, can I... And the right. judge is gone. Nah. What was that? Sorry, I... I... Crotex just trying to stall. Judge is like, nope. Okay. Fast cart? No stalling. Yeah, I was going to say, can Crytek even come up with $2 million at this point? Probably not, actually, which is kind of uh, sad. But so what happens? Especially they... two million dollars that they might lose. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so what happens if they can't come up with it? What happens then? Uh, it's just yeah. You said they they were unwilling to even discuss any aspect of the case, like in a settlement talk, unless Crytek should show that they could show that they actually had money. <laughs> so what's um, the next? Yeah. Uh, the next uh, June twenty eighth, there's a bond hearing with the judge. There's a couple submission dates before that that they have to hit. I think that Crytek has to do a submission for June seventh. Okay. So now, um, Crytek yeah. have brought all this up. They oh, and Crytek don't... hired hired two new lawyers to join the case. Okay, so they they brought all this up. They probably don't have a very good case in the first place. They've got no money. The, but I you're, just, you're saying they just hired two new lawyers, so they're yeah. <laughs> unlikely to run away from this now. They don't really have the option. Oh, they're they're kind of. I think they're kind of in it now. So yeah. they'll go through to the end. Um, okay. I think the judge's biggest thing is I think the judge would like them to settle, but CIG is not very. They're not very inclined to settle and uh crytech hasn't even really been trying so i mean the, the thing is, if you come talk about a settlement who's gonna owe who money uh cig thinks that crytech owes them money which is yeah. part of the part of the argument here um because okay. cig is saying that this lawsuit is fr frivolous of course and they're like well you owe us money for legal fees yeah, <laughs> at the very at the very least, <laughs> we didn't write Crytek as stalling because they don't have the money. So yeah, like I, I can see what why they're stalling, but I don't, I don't see. The... That's kind of the basis yeah. of the problem with the settlement is that Crytek thinks that CIG owes the money, and CIG thinks Crytek don't. owes the money. So it's right. very much a non-starter for both sides. It's it sort of seems like the the problem. And Shiver, correct me if I'm wrong in this, is that Crytek ran out of money. They had very, very few ways to deal with the money that they had left. The people in charge of Crytek were like, hell yeah, let's sue CIG, and CIG will sort of roll over and give us money so that we can keep running, and then, I mean, CIG aren't doing that. That's a possibility. A possibility? Good, I'll take it. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So, I mean, it, so we we don't know for sure if they're just you know fishing for money to keep their business running, but so what what Crytek could do is like get the, get an interview, get themselves interviewed by Forbes, and then then they'll be ro rolling and go. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll get them so much money. They could have just you know released a decent game, um, but anyway, let's move on that from Crytek. Hey, can I? 
Can I actually tie something in with that? Yes, you can. Okay. Okay. So I am currently playing Kingdom Come Deliverance, which was made with CryEngine. Um, mm. And it, I, I just wanted to, you know, take a moment to say it is awesome. I recommend everyone play it. It's a lot of fun. I would actually like to say I just started up Outer Wilds. Uh, it's really Epic Game Store. It's really cheap on the Epic Game Store right now. It's fifteen bucks. Uh, I don't care if you don't like the Epic Game Store. This game is fantastic so much so far. Um, seriously, look into it. Really cool. Anyway. Sorry. What, no, what wait, wait. One, yeah. one, one more game recommendation. It just started this week. It's called Overhead, but it's not a PC on that game. It's on it's on the mobile. It's a mobile game, and so you're on iTunes or, or at your Google Play Store. Yeah. It, it, it's made with the Unreal Engine. It's called Overhead. It has a good story. It's very entertaining. And, you know, I, I, I really... I rarely like recommend a mobile game because I, I, I play a bunch of them. But this one, pe- I think people should try. You don't have to pay it. I will look into it. Sure. How about you? Any games to recommend? Crusader. No, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do this. Okay, let's do this. Show and tell. Let's talk some Star Citizen. Uh, let's actually start with the images. So, uh, Nakara, you pulled up some, some images this week. Uh, let's take a look at them. That's a big hole. That's yeah, a- so this shot was from um, uh, Kenny Sucks on Reddit. Thank you, Kenny Sucks. Um, this is a, cr- uh, it's just a crater on Delamar, and I thought it was a pretty cool visual. Neat things you find when you're tooling around in an Ursa, I guess. So the, right now, this is making me thinking, actually, think actually of something that we talked about, uh, I guess, last week on the Tuesday um, science show of one of the plans for uh, lunar expeditions soon is a lunar expedition to the south south pole because there are craters there that have permanent shadow and there is there's we've basically confirmed there to be ice in those permanent shadowed moon craters and i think that would be something really really cool if cig were to add or to have permanently shadowed craters on some of these moons and planets that mm-hmm. would have water uh, collect in them. Um, That'd be really it'd be an interesting thing for the future for like uh, you know setting up um, like fuel mining stations there yeah. for hydrogen yeah. fuel. Anyway, isn't what? isn't a crater with a permanent shadow called a cave? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Some kind of agrees with me. I can I can see that. I like it. The logic <laughs> checks out. The logic checks out, <laughs> but um, I'm sure some geologist could tell you why you're wrong. I, I'm, <laughs> sure, I'm sure some geologist somewhere just shat a brick. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's something very wrong with the universe. Into a cave. Yeah. Uh, everyone okay there? Uh, I mean, these, these d- dudes aren't too okay. Okay. I just had a serious hiccup on my internet. I thought it was everybody. Oh. Everyone went all robot and froze. So no, nope, like, just oh, on your end. Okay. Uh, Mr. Hasgaha at it again with just... Yep. Just stupid good-looking images. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. He needs some, to get hired by CAG already. <laughs> some face detail. Yeah, this is a great shot. This one is um, uh, this one is Nicole Ray on Reddit, and uh, yeah, they were just pointing out how amazing the face detail is already in Star Citizen. I mean, you can kind of see the eyelashes are sort of weirdly floating there a bit on the edges of the eyes, but man, that looks good. It's uh, like yep. it, the eyes follow me wherever I go. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, this one is. I, I really like the pores, and especially the like variations in skin tone and stuff are really. Um, that's like advanced stuff you wouldn't have found much in games a few years ago. And then there's a little <laughs> uh, size comparison chart here of some of the surface vehicles. I like this one because uh, he, as this is YT, he does a lot of the comparison charts. And um, this one's from an isometric view. I thought it was kind of cool from the side instead of top down. Yeah. Um, can I have a link, a link of that one? Yeah, of course. Oh, you put it in quick it. chat. Thank you. Uh, bah, 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 bah. There is only one vehicle on this uh, on this list that I like. Which, Which one? Is that? The Ranger. Fair enough. I like the Nova tank because it's a tank. I a like. I, I want a better tank. I don't like how it looks. It's too triangly. Triangly. Triangular. It's too much. I mean, in, in, in this render, I don't know if you want to call it a render, but it kind of reminds me of, of the tank from Tron, the first, the first Tron. I don't know if I've seen that. You haven't seen uh, I haven't Tron seen any of the Trons. Oh, well, oh. that's good. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's do some roadmap talk just because we've got <laughs> images up. Oh, man. Uh, oh. Nakara, any, anything much on the roadmap this week? Um, just give me a second. I'm trying to fulfill the last request. Uh, so on the roadmap, there wasn't a lot. Uh, the, at least there's nothing moving around this week. Um, something a little mysterious. Um, oh, no, I see where it came from. Okay. Um, 3.9 went up by 3% or went up by 1%, I mean. And at first, I didn't know where it came from, but it's the Orison Landing Zone now has uh, shown progress on there, and it's at forty-one percent, which is nice to see. That's good. Um, A ways away, but still good progress. But you know, they had uh, significant progress on um, on three point six this week, and finished the asynchronous disconnection refactor, which is something they've been working on for a while. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know. Decent progress. Nothing earth shattering in this particular one. Um, but uh, And anything know. over on the squadron side? Yeah, let's take a look. So one here was that they finished the Shubin mining character this week. Um, and uh, that was sort of about it that I was like excited about. Um, again, Gradual, slow, steady improvements. It's actually, interestingly, both... Um, I mean, they're working on different things, so this actually is notable. Um, the Q2 uh, squadron went up by 6%, as did the Star Citizen one. And, uh, I mean, they're further along with their tasks for squadron this, this month than they are with their Star Citizen tasks. So. Yep. Still, progress. Um, yep. Continue along. I'm still, I, I think we're probably going to see maybe around Citizen Con, they'll push out the release of Squadron. It's it's not going to hit where it is right now. <clears throat> Thoughts on any of that, Shiver? You've been extremely... It's, like you say, it's progress, isn't it? But it's not, um, it's nothing to go wild about. It's, it's just yeah. progress. Yeah. Yep. Which uh, I like. Uh, I like what Fullstone said. Async, async, desync. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do some videos. We got some videos to watch. Mm-hmm. Uh, before that, I have w w one one more bit of, bit of news. Yeah. Um, I uh, the tweet earlier, like yesterday or something like that. Ray Ray Rukoff had been promoted to senior play, player regulation manager. Yep. On, at, at CIG. That's good. So yeah. yeah, it's pretty pretty great. Um, he's been <clears throat> working with them for a long time, so it's uh, nice to see him move up. Um, I'm not sure if we covered it, so I'm just going to refer back to it in case we missed it. Um, also, Brian Chambers was promoted. Um, yeah. Yeah, we did. Recently. Okay, good. That one we covered. Okay, let's uh, let's talk some videos. So this is all about drugs. Oh, that delicious bean footage. It's a lot of drugs. 
I was kind of uh, I was I was torn on whether or not to include the spreadsheet footage, but I decided to leave it out. <laughs> it's <Don't> overexcited. <laughs> We've got the drugs. That's uh, pushing it. <laughs> oh man. Uh, but what they were actually talking about in this section was about uh, about how they're they're working on setting up uh, black markets, um, and basically talked about the different types of goods where you have illicit goods, which are not really legal to be sold anywhere, and then you have um, um, uh, illegal goods, which are more like things you've stolen, which are obviously legal goods, but you've obtained them in an illegal manner, um, which will often have more places to sell them, but you can still get in shit. Kind of deal. So I, I've got some questions about how they're going to work that because I've always slightly hated it in games, in things like uh, Elder Scrolls games where you steal something. Even if no one sees you, it's marked as having been stolen and sometimes you can't sell it. Mm-hmm. Right? Do we have any- real life. Yeah, totally. I steal something and then take it to a pawn shop and they know it's stolen uh, and won't buy it. But like, do, was there, has there been any talk about uh, that in Star Citizen? Because that has always been a... Pretty sure that they're going to have some growing pains on this topic. Um, it's kind of growing pains in every game about how you mark things as illegal and... Um, you know, whether or not people think that's a legitimate way to mark things as illegal. Um, I don't, I don't, I honestly don't have an answer. I haven't heard anything. I'm sure that there's going to be some way. Um, obviously, you have to be able to do legal salvage. Um, the question is, how do you make it legal and not stealing? So, here's my partial solution. Uh, and not as much for salvage, because lots of the salvage will be there's just someone that's like their ship has died, right? Mm-hmm. And you're salvaging their ship. But there will be others that I guess you don't have a claim to the ship and you're salvaging it, and that might be illegal. But um, especially for stolen items, like if if I sneak onto Shiver's ship and steal uh, his, I steal his loincloths. Wow, that's that's a line cloth. That's a violation. <laughs> I know. Uh, and then I go and try and sell Shiver's loincloths. If to Shiver who? makes an insurance claim on his loincloths, uh, once he long time ago, <laughs> once he's made an insurance claim, then it should be marked as stolen. But if he doesn't go and make an insurance claim yet, then it won't have. Like, I, what if you sell I, it before he makes an insurance claim, and then he tries to make an insurance claim? Then I sold it before he made the claim. What if what if what if you make make that make the insurance claim, but you sell it in in a, in a different market where the, the the communication for the insurance claim hadn't gotten there yet? And, the, only and, problem, the only problem with that is that it directly leads to scamming the game for money because you give your buddy something that they stole from you and they go sell it and then you claim it on insurance and hey insurance fraud <laughs> and then I, the, I think at this stage yeah. of the game you're asking the same question CIG are asking and yeah, the system totally. we have now is going to be very rudimentary it may just be um, it could just be parts of a bigger system so it's not yeah I don't know how else to explain it it's what you're thinking of is what they're thinking right now is what they're looking at, what they're thinking at. I'm thinking, how the fuck are we going to stop this? How yeah. are we going to mark this as that? And then how is there going to be the difference between um, the metagame? When does it cross over? Like you say, on the salvaging, uh, you come across this salvage and this cargo is actually survived. Does does that count as you taking it? Or is it fair game because it's salvage? How do you draw the line? And how do you tell the game that in a technical aspect? How do you program that bit of math? I will be back in a moment. I, I would have to say that one thing you probably do is you find the salvage ship or the ship that you want to salvage. You try and place a claim on it. And then 
if someone else has a claim to that ship in the system, then you can't put a claim, a salvage claim on that ship. And then if you salvage it, it would be illegally salvaging it. But if no one's okay. put a claim on and that I can ship... exploit that system because if I do that in a lawless system, this thing's never been marked, so I can just take that and sell it anyway. Yep. Right. I, I'm, I'm, th that's, this is just my, my first, like, thought idea no, it, thrown at me. This is, I think, literally the conversation CIG are having as well. And I sound like going, how are we going to do this? How would you exploit it? And try yep. to stamp out the obvious ones. And then they're going to be some, I mean, no matter how foolproof to try to make it, it's always going to be some one out there in, you know, the community who figures out something that, you know, they have to patch, late, patch in later. So, I mean, it, it, it's a no-win situation almost. Yeah, we'll have to see what what they end up, uh, what they end up working out, and uh, if we don't like what they worked out, then we'll just yell at them. So we <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of yelling. Speaking of yelling, yeah. Hi. Oh okay. I just I just stopped the entire show and. I know I'm feeling a little awkward. Yeah. Yeah, slightly. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Can I, can I just say, come on, my Mrs. <laughs> she can't hear anyone, so. Yes, I know. Oh, she's deaf. <laughs> Don't poke her. <laughs> Hi, baby. All right, darling. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, what do we got next on the videos side of things? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk the Prowler. Well, it sounds oh. like you're so excited for this. It's just another ugly ship. I was going to say it's a weird looking ship. <laughs> See? <laughs> it looks like one of those pterodactyls that like walk on its wings. Yep. <laughs> it does. Oh, bang. This this thing is going to disrupt the podcast so much. I'm basically just going to be handing over to Shiver and and uh, Nakara and just be like, "Have fun." All right. Yeah, that that's about right. Once once the baby like shows her. up, I'm just gonna, yeah. Uh huh. Vanish off the face of the earth. Yeah, we're prepared. I'll I'll, I'll show up every once in a while. Also, I, I really want that to be a mode for the Prowler where it's just invisible, except for the <laughs> inside. Yeah, only the interior is visible, yeah. It's like one of those uh, oh. glass fish or whatever. that Those glass, like, those boats with the glass bottom so you can see the, the well, sharks that. that are trying to eat you? I specifically meant the glass fish that have like transparent skin so you can see all their internal organs and their ribs and everything. Yes, right, yeah. those. Yes. She, she, she's gone now, but I wanted to ask whether or not you, you, you invited... Um, Disco Lando to your wedding to officiate yet? Uh, I haven't yet, but when I Come figure on, out man. when I figure out when the wedding is going to be, I definitely will. Okay. Uh, just don't mention it while she's around because I don't want her to hear <laughs> that idea. Because let's be honest, I tried to kidnap you. <laughs> it wouldn't fly. <laughs> but if she doesn't know about it, then she can't stop it from happening. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a foolproof plan. I've thought this one out. <laughs> um, okay, so there's the Prowler. Um, I want to talk about my thoughts about the Prowler, and then I want to, to get your thoughts. So I didn't think it was going to be this big. Um, there is a lot of room for people inside, uh, 20 people, um, and it, mm. like, they're, they're going to be kind of crammed in there like sardines, aren't they? Well, yeah, they're going to be soldiers in the back of a transport vehicle. That's kind of how she, 
how she goes. Yeah, I just, I thought it was going to be, I didn't think it was, I, I guess I just didn't really connect 20 people in it to the size it would have to be. I thought it was going to be smaller. Also, uh, it, one of the things I wanted to point out here is that they did specifically mention those like spiky fin things that are co- coming out like that. They're supposed to cover the troops a lot better than they do in that like shot yeah. there. So they're going to be redesigning them to be bigger um, yeah. so that they can cover. Because the whole purpose of them is to provide cover for the uh, the troops when they're coming out. Yeah. And I know it's it's a troop transport. I just, I don't know. For some reason, I didn't really associate it with, I, I, I really don't know. It just, it, it ended up being larger than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's kind fair. of. It kind of reminded me of the dropship from Alien, the, the second one. And they're going five by five and everything like that. Kind it, of. It kind of reminds me of a silverfish. I don't know if anyone knows what a silverfish is. They're little tiny insects that crawl around and stuff. It, it reminds me of those a little bit. Just its weird little tail thing, how its tail is split. Um, Fair enough. Shiver, um, what do you think? It's I was just going looking- to... No, go ahead. Go ahead, Trevor. It, it's a meaty-looking troop transport. It's something that's meant to go in, but not quite front lines because you don't deploy troops directly on the front lines unless you're suicidal. But you know, <laughs> close to the front lines, as you can deploy something or uh, onto a much larger ship to invade from the inside <laughs> out. It looks the business. It looks meaty. It doesn't look delicate. Uh yes, sins. It's a battle prawn. I love that. Yep, I love it. Nakara? 100% in Battle Prone. I was just going to say that um, uh, I think it's Fulliston. Yeah, there's. he's saying, isn't there supposed to be special shields that cover it? Yes, there are. So where the, you see those blue doorways there, there will be there will be uh, shields basically covering those all the time, and the troops will jump through the shields. Um, and uh, But once they're outside the vehicle, those wings that like will unfold um, will provide them some ground uh, protection as well. So, I also yeah, like. Cool it also has a lot of firepower to cover the troops um, as it's landing. Yeah, um, I find it slightly interesting that the co-pilot is on the bottom with all the troops and stuff, and then the pilot is like up top, separated from everything. Um, I kind of like how there are components behind the pilot, but also feel like the pilot shouldn't really be the one getting out of his seat to go fix those components. Um, so no, that's for pilot would. Yeah, but anyone else has to climb up there. True. Right? Like, I feel like the pilot should be on the bottom and the co-pilot should be on the top so that the pilot's just flying and then if something needs to be swapped out, the co-pilot goes and swaps it because he's up there with it. I think you should submit that as a suggestion. I think I just did. Someone take my suggestion and submit it for me. Um, I'm just, I'm just. Why are there no CIG people watching right now? We have suggestions. (laughs) Because they know what happens. I give suggestions and then they just hang their heads in shame. I mean, let's be honest. The last one, last. One of the last time a CID person was here, and you had me on on, on on the show. That was the last time he was here. <laughs> yes, it's been a while, but um, I, don't, I don't think that was a, uh, a direct relationship. <laughs> you, you, you sure about that? Yeah, I'm, t- I'm, I'm definitely sure. <laughs> anyway, kind of, I mean, s- kind of definitely. I mean, maybe partially. We'll see. Who knows? Um, it's nice that they're, you know, working on the Prowler. I know a lot of people like it, so it's good to see some uh, some movement on it. Now let's talk even cooler things. Oh, just, just before Aww. before we move on, I just wanted to, just yep. wanted to ask: Don't we all have foot tails? <laughs> um. Yes. No. Anyway, I don't. Anyway. Yes. Anyway. No. Anyway. So, how about that uh, 300 series? It looks good. Uh, yeah. The, this shot, the shot with the, the reds and like, oh, oh, oh. So good. 
Uh, I like that they're bringing ship customization with the 300s. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. really, really excited to see these. I'm excited to see the interior customizations. I'm excited that they are, in my opinion, doing the right thing with customization in that there's a whole bunch of manufacturer customizations that you'll be able to get with your ship. And then there are aftermarket customizations that you'll have to find or that will cost or whatnot. Um, that to me is the right way to do it. You go to a car dealership, you have like three choices of color. Or a scooter dealership or a car dealership. Same thing. Yeah. I mean, I think the most important thing out of all of this is that you can change your bedding. Yes. Uh, but if they don't keep that like kids space, oh. like planets, I, that will be my bedding in every single ship. I know that when we My saw question. that, they had said that it was temporary and it probably wouldn't be kept. It better have been kept. It, it was wasn't kept bedding. in the 300 series, but it's in um, it's in a bunch of the MISC ships. Yeah, and I want it in all ships. I want that bedding <laughs> My, <laughs> My question is, will they allow for customization of toilets? Because some people want, want, want a bidet and some people don't. Good point. You should, um, again... Why is our CIG person? We got to make our suggestions here. Sure. Come on. What are your thoughts on the customization as shown? Wasn't expecting this so soon. Quite a surprise. Um, obviously, it's it, it's a first initial initial thing. So as you say, it's all uh, as if you're buying from a factory and everything is a uh, only factory standard option. In the future, it's going to completely change. Yeah, cool with it. Like it. Was a surprise. Uh, yeah, like were it. were any of you surprised when they showed the coffee maker and like the toaster thing and said that those would tie into the stamina system? Yes. Yep. So, very what do you make of that? Expect I missed that. You expected it. Oh, the coffee. Say it again. The coffee. The the <laughs> coffee and like toaster machine that are on the counter there uh, will have limited functionality to start but will eventually tie into the stamina system okay they've talked about before about eating yeah, they, yeah, they, uh, being a thing so didn't surprise me that much now, but I'm, I'm but, surprised that they're putting it in so soon here, here's my question the origin now has a coffee maker and a toaster and you'll be able to use it to increase or recover stamina or whatever they end up, uh, however they end up using that system, right? Um, are Cutlass owners now doubly fucked because they neither have uh, eating facilities nor toilets? Yes. Yep. Good. And not the in bastards good anyway. I... <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like the the lack of toilets thing is um, they discussed it on uh, Star Citizen Live, and it sounds like that's probably not going to last. That any ship that has a bed should have a toilet because that just makes sense. Uh, really, they should be that... one in the same. <laughs> what would be interesting is that if they... <laughs> All right. And just, instead of a coffee machine, you know, and, and a, a, to a toaster, you could swap that with it, like a rice or a rice cooker or something like that, and have different different effects for whatever um, food you eat or whatever. I'm I'm hoping that they do something similar, but we're gonna have to wait and see what they're doing with the stamina system and what food is gonna have to do with it. Like, are you go the longer you go without sleep, will your stamina bar decrease, and then sleeping or eating will bring it back up to the top? Like, what are they? We don't know what they're doing yet. Um, that's that's. I want to know, like, and 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 if you, if you go too long without sleep, will you die? Like, 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 just, like some gamers do. Or I mean, will you start hallucinating? That if they Ooh, don't let me awesome. have a coffee in the morning, then I just throw the cup at the first person I talk to and shout at the rest for the whole day. <laughs> Can you imagine if they they actually implemented maybe not death due to lack of sleep, but hallucinations from it? That'd be amazing. Like, uh, what what game did Hulu, uh, or Mirages? Was it Assassin's Creed Origins? They had like Mirages in the desert. 
I think so. I, I liked uh, one of the Batman games when the Scarecrow gets you and there were hallucinations there and it like pretended Arkham. to turn off your... Yeah. Um, but like, but, like little second. little hallucinations. Like you're flying along and you're... you're it says you your your HUD says you have a call, so you go and click on your call to accept the call, but there's no call there, or like, or it's a rabbit on the other end. It's some like oh, I would <laughs> love I would love that I would love it, or it's just disco <laughs> being like, sleep, sleep, <laughs> sleep, and then he starts like singing opera tunes. That'd be fantastic. Right? I, again, where is our Siet anyway? <laughs> uh, so one of the things I wanted to point out in here is there's a really quick shot. I'm not sure where in the video it is, but there's a really quick shot of a black and blue 315P, and it looks amazing. So that's what I'm going to be looking for. I, I picked up a 315P a long time ago, shortly after they announced that they were redoing the 300 series. I'm excited for that. I can't one wait. Of my first, one of my first ships that I, that I actually bought was a 315P, but I mounted it for a different ship. But it's, it's one of the ships that I, that I, that I got into at the start of the, when I started this game. Yeah. I, I love the three. Go ahead. No, all you. I was just going to say it was my first ship. Like, it, that was my Kickstarter ship. I have mm. the, uh, I have the, uh, what was it called back then? The Exploration Pack or something? I yeah. can't remember exactly what it was called, but Explorer's Pack, something like that. Um, but uh, there it is, black and blue. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we've got four questions. We're going to move over to questions now. That's the end of our videos. Uh, but we need you all to start asking us some more questions. Exclamation mark, question mark. Um, before just... we... Sorry, go oh, ahead, Nikar. I was I was gonna do a before we thing. I yeah. just wanted to give uh, Bryce Arena uh, some props for mentioning that uh, that the inspiration for the um... oh wow Prowler was Prowler. Uh, the Copperhead from Final Fantasy Spirits Within. And if you look that up, it's uh, very similar. I loved Spirits Within. That was one of my favorite movies for a long time, just because I have horrible taste in movies. Um, I was going to comment on that, but I'm glad you did. Yeah, you're welcome. I, I don't worry, I, I covered it. Okay, so before we get into questions, because we don't have that many anyway, you guys should ask us some questions. Two of them are um, two of them, yeah, and two of them are fast courts. He's still at at fifty percent. Um, here's a question I want to ask. So, Shiver, you were saying that there was some talk about customization going on. Uh, in on the reddits yeah there was mention on reddit that um certain some skins some selects may be uh pay for real cash but also you can use uh uec to pay for these ones i'm not sure if it's if that system is temporary if the whole thing is temporary or what but there were rumblings on there and personally my personal thought was okay uh, even if there is literally just skins that you can only get for money i always figured that was part of the whole deal with the first place you know that 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 is literally just um it, it has no impact on game whatsoever it's just a skin it it has become fairly common in games now um nakara you agree oh yeah i mean that was actually kind of always part of it was that they might sell some things after release and those things would be cosmetics um, we, it was always kind of understood. Uh, not, I'm not surprised that they're selling cosmetics now. I'm surprised they've managed to get the ship customization thing going, as Shiver was as well. Um, glad to see it in. Well, I mean, it'll be a good source of income. They can't, they can't pump out a ship as fast as they can, they can pump out customization. Yeah. For, oh, for and cosmetics. I'm very happy that. It ties in with the insurance system. That was a huge, game, huge boon yes. for us. Because um, not because with that, they're also able to save any of your um, um, loadouts in game. So if you change the weapons in your ship, you don't have to change them every time once you uh, die and respawn. My thoughts on the ship customization is 
So there are going to be two types of customization, right? Standard customizations that you buy from the manufacturer. Those, yeah. all of those should be open for free. Like, or like you pay, maybe you pay some additional UEC, but that's how car manufacturers work anyway, right? Like you, you pay additional on the cost of your ship for the premium paint job, mm -hmm. but all of those should be available after that. As long as there's a mix, you can get some things for free, even if there's some that you have to pay for. Yeah, I, uh, who cares? They're skins. They don't affect gameplay. Um, and it if it's another if it's a more reliable source of income for CIG, uh, I'm fully open to the ship customization. I'd still like them to stop selling ships once the game is live, but ship customization. Yeah, it's up for packages, the um, yeah. introduction game, packages. Game yeah. packages. Yeah, I, I don't... So my my hope for selling ships after launch is game packages and concept sales. Yeah, I can see that. Mm, a concept sales after launch? I, I, I still think that concept ship sales after launch should still be... They can still sell those for real money, but sh once the ship is in the game, that's it. It's purchased only in game that to me would be a good way of doing post launch sales but that's i don't know people are already complaining about the game being paid away i think if they sell or uh concept ship after launch they will just exacerbate the um... people are going to complain about it being paid to win for yeah, no, but I mean, there, there, there are ways to minimize and i think not selling not selling except for packages that you have to buy in order to play the game that would mitigate that. My, my thought with... Sorry, go ahead, Nakar. I was just going to say, I agree um, if they can afford to do it. If they can figure out a way to make the game continue to run and continue to make money without doing that, that's awesome. But I, it wouldn't surprise me if they still need to sell. Here's my ship. thought on the ships. Every ship that goes into Star Citizen is essentially a DLC. Every single ship has probably as much effort going into it as a standalone like multiplayer level that would go into something like Call of Duty that you would pay for as DLC. These ships are not it's not like it's not a skin. It's not something simple. They put tons of time and money into the ships. Mm -hmm. I feel like the ships, and, and you can still buy them in game. It's not locking any of the content out. I feel like the concept ships are not loot boxes. They are DLC. They are DLC that you can buy to access early, but it is available in the game from day one. Yes. And that I just got to say. Yeah, go ahead. If, if, if a ship is a DLC, the, the, the Legatus pack is a hell of a DLC. <laughs> I mean, there are various levels of DLC, but <laughs> that to me is... That's how I see ship sales after launch as DLC. Because, I mean, look at something like the Idris. Or look at something like a Starfarer. Those are oh the size of some regular maps in multiplayer games. Look at an Endeavor. Like... Some of these ships are fracking huge. Shiver, you looked like you had a... I mean, I, I suppose it would be a bit weird to announce a ship, you know, in concept, and then go, you know, we've got this amazing ship, it's great. Then just wait. Yeah. Nothing until it's ready, and then it's suddenly in the verse. And then you've got to wait for someone to be able to afford it and find yeah. where it's for sale. I, I think yeah. they do announcements. They post the... Cash price, I don't want them to post the UEC price, but here's here's the lot the the ship concept sale. It's going to be this much. It's the concept sale lasts a week or whatever, and then after that week, the concept sale goes dark. You can still see the ship. It goes along the normal ship pipeline. It enters the game, and you can buy it in game. I have a question for you. Yep. How, how do you feel about how do you feel about concept sales of a ship that already exists, like the like the 20, 29, 2952 version of of an Aurora? That, that's the point for instance. Like as they as they iterate on ship, you think 
they have concept shows for that one, or do you think they would just put them in the game? That's a really good question. Um, so, you know what I would like to see around that, actually? The Expo. Was it last yeah. year that they had the, the Expo? With, I would like them... Flash. Yeah, the, so... No, it was I, last I, year, you're right. I would like them to use that Expo, because they're not going to update every single ship every single year, right? But announce a bunch of ships that are getting New Year updates... At that expo, that expo is an inverse and an online, like you can buy the new ships as part of that expo, and then down the road they actually come out. Because because that happens right now, right? Like there is a car expo, you see a car, that car doesn't come out for another six months. It's just an update, it's the 2019 whatever, but it doesn't actually come out for another couple of months, Right. So, so yeah. are you saying that new career choice, Booth Babe? Yeah, and I, you're the first one I want to see. Okay, let's hit let's hit up some of these questions. Uh, Flint asks, "What do you think the second ship will be to be subjected to the new ship customization interface?" I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say the Endeavor. <clears throat> that there's no chance. I'm going to say 100 because they already lost it. What do you think, Takara? I'm, I'm, I have a a serious inkling that it might be um, the constellation, but oh, I'm also thinking that the Aurora might be uh, a candidate as well. Yeah, because they said that they picked the 300 series because a lot of people own it. So the Aurora, a lot of people own that, or the Mustang. Yeah, yeah. The st starting with the starter ships would actually make a lot of sense. They're the ships that most people have. Mm -hmm. Sure, what do you think? All right, I'm going to fuck you all up. Right, here's, here's what uh -oh. I think. I, I think none. I, I think they're just going to look at this and they're going to get that system that's there tuned and to a certain degree and then they're going to keep reiterating on that and they're just going to keep reiterating on the same system. And then when they're ready, they'll just have a system in place with the tools ready that's just going to be like, all right, so this is a new system and plop now across all ships. All ships are just currently in. That's what I reckon will happen. All right, that'd be pretty. That would be pretty good. Okay, uh, a well-named owl, uh, FC, longtime fan, first-time asker. How many hours of cartoons a day do I need to watch until I'm considered a weeb? Yeah, nine. <laughs> How many hours a week for it to be a no, weeb? No, a day. A day. I want to say at least ten. Ten. A I want to say at least ten hours. Ten, ten hours a week. Okay. So one point something hours a day. Uh, Fastcart asks, uh, we have a gray mar market and a black market. What about a white market? That's the normal market. <laughs> uh, Fastcart also asks, do Shivers loincloths come with LTI? No. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> they used to, but I wore it out by six months. <laughs> <laughs> Handsome Harry asks, uh, Shivel, Shiver, will you marry me? If not, FC, will you be my escort? I, I'm already married. It's true. Sorry, no. Sure. Uh, Jito asks, what customization would you like to see in the interior of ships and vehicles? I think you should be able to fill your ship with water and swim around inside. That's the 890. I just want to... I just want to be able to switch the seat, the, the seat that you sit in. Yep. Uh, I liked I liked what they said in this episode, actually, of changing even the stitching. I always really like, like, accented stitching on car seats. It looks great. Um, but what I'm more interested in than, than interior customization and, like, yoke color and seat color and all that and maybe even the lighting that's all cool stuff that you should be able to change but i'm still more interested in all the little accoutrements that you can add like my car has has two mascots one is a little tiny keychain llama that's that swings from the the dashboard mirror and one is a little tiny it's about an inch tall figure of Anna from the movie Frozen. 
and she sits on the dashboard and just rolls around on the dashboard as we drive. Uh, and we call her Karana. And uh, I'd like little things like that. Like I want like I want like a little a little alien bobblehead or like a plant or like I want I want. Things. I want to I want to be able to get the fuzzy dice like they had in Star Wars. Yeah. Also, also, I, 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 I mentioned it before, but they really should give a customization on toilet because some people don't want the days. Yeah, toilets. I mean, some people really like urinals, uh, and also some people really hate urinal cakes. Uh, yes, they're but not do very you tasty. get a urinal and do, do you get a urinal and a toilet, or just a urinal? In which case, you have issues. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I am springing for whatever spacesuit allows me to just pull an Iron Man. Yeah, fair enough. Iron Man 2, I think? He just... Anyway. Uh, Fastcart asks, what do you guys think of the Origin Racing suit? Uh, there's a I'll link it to it. Yeah. I also did... That was in the files I sent you, wasn't it? Uh, not that I saw. I might have missed it, though. It's possible I missed it. Um, looks like a racing suit. It looks a lot like a racing suit. Looks very it carbon looks fibery. Very original. Uh, it looks. It, look, it looks. It looks a bit snug to me. Like I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Gito, are you talking a disco ball, like a, a like spangly ball that that? makes lights or like a disco ball that is a ball with disco's head that you can pick up and throw at people and it's one of those stress balls that's disco's face and you can squeeze it and throw it because i want the second one yes yeah yes good i want i want uh i want a disco ball that is a little orb that projects disco dancing on your uh uh dashboard oh that'd be good too yeah I'm okay with that. Oh, and, you, and, you can, and you can walk up to it and say, help me, Disco Lando. You're my only hope. Exactly. <laughs> uh, that's, my, that's my hope. George P357 asks, what would you think about quarterly sales of almost any ships after launch or maybe a manufacturer's sale once a quarter? Um, I think once a quarter might be too often. I like the yearly expo as something and then... Probably keep either the anniversary sale or a citizen con sale as. Or have the expo at, at citizen con sale I, or I the would, anniversary sale. You know what would be really, 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 really freaking cool? No. Is if they actually do move uh, like citizen con in game and like project it in game and you could stand in game and watch citizen con. That that be be... Isn't that kind of what they do now? Just except <laughs> instead of Star Citizen, it's done on this thing called YouTube. Yeah, but I don't like YouTube. I do not like YouTube. Yeah. Uh, it's a true neutral of the internet. <laughs> Since when? I don't don't get into technicalities. It's not even a technicality. Don't don't YouTube is avoid a, the YouTube is a hellhole. What did YouTube do to? You? I mean, Nicole, really, it's, what's going it's, on? really, it's suggestions are just ass. Oh, I mean, okay, if, it keeps it, if it keeps suggesting ass, yeah, then maybe you should that's check out fault. what you've been watching. That's probably my fault. <laughs> uh, I, I think getting that, behind on your playlists. No, but I, <laughs> I seriously think that moving like lots of Citizen Con stuff in game with a, an in game con would probably be really really cool for the people that can't fly to wherever citizen con is every year mm -hmm. being able to go Forever's con yeah go to a so location what in you're game. saying is new career uh ticket scalper yes <laughs> and then what you could do is you could have a con for the ticket scalpers and it could, could be called decepticon thanks for coming anyway, out, everyone been a good um, show we'll see y'all next week so so I'm totally thinking of this as like a combination between the the existing expo and Citizen Con. So you have like your expo with all the ships lined up and they're, you know, 
crazy shit like that. And they have like a conference room you can go into, or not like, in the, like an auditorium you can go into and watch the uh, current, um, you know, live presentation from CitizenCon. Yeah. Or even better, they motion cap everyone at CitizenCon <laughs> live into game. <laughs> So wait, you can wait, wait, no, you can wait in line in real time. <laughs> You're all thinking too, way too behind. What they do is they download your very soul into a computer. <laughs> I thought we already discussed Tron. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I'm serious. Uh, what, what Ghost says is what I'm talking about. Chris Roberts does the next Citizen Con in a full motion capture suit. They've already shown us that they've got, like one-to-one -one motion capture to in-game, like walking around and talking, and you've actually got Chris Roberts' character in-game walking around the stage and talking and, and the stuff being shown. One-to-one -one in inverse presentation of Citizen Con. What was the next Tip. question? <laughs> Fine. Uh, Judo asks. The only problem with that is that Chris Roberts will charge twenty dollars for that because you know high quality. Judo <laughs> <laughs> um, asks, "How would you like them to represent the lack of a required survival resource? Uh, not enough food, sleep, needing a shower, etc." Uh, I think they've said that they're going to start. Uh, but well, I think what was it? Was it Aaron that was saying that? If you have access to it in, say, your ship, then you're just you'll get a benefit if you manually use it, but you won't have any drawbacks. It'll just constantly sort of be used as you exist. Mm -hmm. But if you say crash land on a planet, you don't have access to that ship supply, then. Mm -hmm your stats will start da going down and there would be a survival mechanic where you would have to find food and stuff to survive. That, think, that, sorry, go ahead, Nikar. I was just going to say, I think what he's asking is how do you want that represented to the player? So do you want your guy to be yawning when he's tired or like his stomach will growl when he's, you know, or, they, have to, five, they, have to, they got those, they got the guys uh, in uh, in Manchester there who do audio and they're like recording someone's stomach growling. For <laughs> or we were flying, flying around your character because you haven't taken a shower in a while. Yeah. Uh, uh, or or you know like how hard it is to get a fly into a motion capture suit. <laughs> inner inner thought. The the inner thought system. Just your character's voice being like, "Man, I stink." <laughs> Man, oh, you know, I, could really <laughs> use a shower. I don't no, want I it like real life. <laughs> no, exactly like real life. There's no bars no, or anything like, that show you. You, you just have to. You loser. just have to lift, lift a uh, pit and sniff. You know, that, that's a form like of a, psychosis. You know, it'd be like a metal metal salad where if you go if you go out, go out without without showering, you, you get a romantic cutscene of someone taking you to the shower. Oh, there really? you go. That's an option. Oh, yeah. That that sounds like Metal Gear. <sighs> um, <laughs> How you doing oh, over no. there? What uh, is it? Just, oof. He's uh, having a flashback. <laughs> yeah, nom. Uh, George P357. To go further into the after-release ship sales idea, do you think it would be more okay to continue sales if, they dro uh, if they've if they done away with the CCU and melting system completely? You buy, Ooh. you own it, nothing else. Yes, once once the game is live, any of that CCUing should go away. If you want to trade it, you trade it in-game. If you want to sell it, you sell it in-game. Yeah, that makes here's sense. My, here's my question. Would you think it's reasonable? It's not me. That, one that, would, be, come to that would be someone upstairs walking around in heels really loud. <laughs> you can hear yeah, it all, you, all the way in Calgary. Uh, don't, don't try to hide it. We, we, we know you're the one wearing heels. Yeah, but um, I'm not walking around in them right now. That's fair. So, um, I totally lost my train of thought. 
Uh, we're talking uh, about... What were we talking about again? <laughs> uh, CCU melting system gone completely after right. launch. Oh, all right. Okay. I was gonna, I was gonna ask you if you, you'd be completely against uh, people um, participating in concept sales using uh, UEC. No, I wouldn't be against that. I actually think that if they show the UEC at all, it should be you can buy it with your UEC or you can buy it with cash as okay. a concept sale. That's what I figured. Put a put a deposit down. I want I want the the expo to be inverse anyway. Wait, so, so just should... like just like getting a Tesla then, hey? Yeah. Here's a question. Since we're going to be long, since we're kind of a long question. You think we'll ever have some kind of railway system for to buy a chip in game? Like you can pay a certain certain amount of credit UEC per month. Yes. I I very much expect that there will be financing for ships inverse because there are for real life cars. How I can't go into a car dealership and pay for a brand new car in cash. Not many people can, right? Well, how about how about this? How about doing the same for ammo? Like sometimes, like that missile that that, that you really yeah. want. I mean, some <laughs> missiles are really expensive. I mean. There'll make be loans available as in-game currency, one assumes, so yeah. you spend the currency on whatever you want to spend the currency. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's that. Uh, Chnops asks, oh, this is a big one. <laughs> okay. Schnapps asks, how do you guys feel about the gameplay at this stage of development? Missions, exploration, etc. Uh, let's go around in a circle, starting with Nakara. How do you feel about the gameplay at this stage? Better than it was, and still not... It's still, in my mind, it's still not a fully playable game, because there's not really enough there to keep a person in it, unless they're like incredibly dedicated <clears throat> um but i also don't think that's where they think it is like they're they know it's deep in development and not close to release so i mean in terms of how the game runs as a you know early access which is essentially what it is um it stopped crashing which is really good uh mostly works the bugs are mostly annoyances Instead of game breaking, mostly. Um, so I'd say they're doing better and better all the time. Also, the resolution of the gigantic performance problems we had at the, before um, was a big, big deal. Anyway, what do you that's think? My long answer. I want to say what the car said, except that um, I'm I only play like whenever there's a big pack, like you know a point oh or point one, something like that. And I only play for like maybe twenty minutes, an hour, some most of the time, because I don't want to. I'm still in a trade where I want to play the game when it when it fully launches live, it goes live, and I don't want to burn myself out with doing missions and stuff b b before then. Yep. Shiver. Uh, again, Nakara, completely right, absolutely. Um, but I I think you got to look at it slightly differently as well. It, it's not representative of the game or its final release it's, it's all testing and just test so if, if you're in there to play a game you're going to be very disappointed because just be test not play so any any fun you do have at the moment as a consequence of testing stuff is purely coincidental and is not representative of the final fun you may or may not experience on release the only other thing I would have to say about my feelings of the state of the gameplay right now is that most of it's missing. Um, that's okay. It's still in alpha. It's still in development. But most of the gameplay is missing. So for me, none of the gameplay that I'm really interested in is in yet. And even some of the gameplay that I am slightly interested in, like mining, is still in a very early like V0, V1 implementation it's nowhere near 
what the final implementation of it is going to be like. So my my thoughts on the gameplay right now is I don't play the game. I I do like Fast Cart does. I test it every main, major patch, uh, try out the new things in the patch, fly around, try out mining, try out the things that I'm interested in, and then I stop because it's not where I want it to be yet. I have serious issues with some parts of the games, like the travel time. Um, I'm really excited for other parts of the game that aren't in yet, like medical system and survival system and salvage and, 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 and so it's not there yet, but I, I feel like they are making steady progress towards what they want to get to us. And my other thing is, if this were a normal game, they could have finalized everything and shipped it by now. Uh, there is there is a ton to do already. Uh, I know that they're making significant improvements to all those things, but there's enough in there that if they polished and finalized just what's there, it would still have been not a bad game, but they're shooting for so much more and that's going to take a lot of time and I'm okay with giving them the time to do it. Can I add one more thing? I'm going to add someone up to it for you first. Okay. I just wanted to say that um, one of the things I did like was them <clears throat> getting mining out there to, yes. for kind of an example of what their game systems are going to be like. Yeah. Um, because I think you, pretty much universally, people look at the mining system they have and go, that's. Oh, I love a, it. A, that's a very good start. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, so I want to give them props for that. Um, I do think that it's high time we see another major game system come in, but uh, I think that's not actually that close. So, yeah, fast cart. What are you going to say? Is that and, and if only there's a way to like for the general public to know that this game is still in testing, because a lot of people come into this game thinking that it's that it's already launched. You know, like maybe they could add add a word like saying like alpha in there. The they title. do. They say alpha a couple places. He's joking. I know. I know. I'm tired. You can't. You gotta. I'm tired. I'm slow on the uptake. I'm sorry. You can definitely That's tell they've had complaints though, because whenever you go to buy something, it's like this is not released. Yeah. We don't need you to buy it. Please don't buy it if you don't want to buy it. Um. In fact, we don't really want you to buy it at all. But yep. if you have to buy it, here's the buy now button. Uh, Jito, like you said, I want salvage, I want repair, I want exploration. I want yeah. multiple multi systems. I want multi functioning multi-crew. I want medical gameplay. I want the, whatever they're doing with sur survival. I want better trading and cargo transportation. I want a full implementation of mining, bounty, like, there's so many, there's just so freaking much, right? Mm -hmm. And I want, I want my endeavor. I want a cannoli and a hot dog at, at, at the subway train. I would love a hot dog, actually. Um, so this is actually <laughs> where this is where we should come back around to talking about. Um, um, I think I think this community really. I mean, I don't talk about this a lot, but I think the community deserves a lot of credit. I know obviously there's lots of people who are disgruntled, but there's also a lot of people who aren't, like millions. <laughs> um, and I think they deserve a lot of credit because if you look at the financials behind the company, they've got the most consistent support I've ever seen from anything. <laughs> like, yeah. not even game related. Like, it's uh, it's pretty impressive. A and another thing, let's give CIG a lot of credit. For and it, it took them a while to do it, but now all of their financials are up and out there for everyone to see. So you can see exactly how healthy the project is at all times. And guess what? It's pretty damn healthy. Mm -hmm. I I love that. I'm I'm really, really glad that they did that actually, because I've kickstarted a number of things. I've had quite a few of my Kickstarters either launch incomplete and ask for more money, not launch at all disappear entirely oh, yeah. like the number Tons of kickstarters of that have actually been scams no i i i love i i really like watching star citizen grow 
that's hey I, I bought a number of EA games to turn out to be crap like Andromeda and you know <laughs> I mean you bought EA games so it's your problem uh... <laughs> where's Jake oh he, his ears are burning right now no Jake actually, <laughs> Jake, no no because no, Jake is with me on EA slightly no he's not because yeah. he, apex apex came out and he decided they're amazing oh yeah well he he likes <laughs> one developer that ea own mm. and that's it i know and guess what um, they're the ones that made cod so anyway uh george p357 asks the last question that we have on the list would you like to see the character from the expo videos live in game at the events can't remember his name yes yes Hundred percent. Yeah. Just like I think you should be able to go talk. Oh, what the hell is his name? Sign it, Silas Carner or whatever Turner, his name is. Yeah. The guy, the uh, the head of Consolidated Outland. I want him to be somewhere in the game. I want you him just to pull off. Him. I want him to pull off an ex, like a, a presentation at the expo. Mm -hmm. Like Mustang's next ship gets launched, gets announced and launched in game at the expo. And you can go and watch his presentation live at the expo where he announces the next ship and then the concept sale goes live. Right? Mm -hmm. I want yep. I want them to go one step further and you like like a couple of years ago they had that one expo. We hired the, the booth girl that Drake had. Like make them come back. <laughs> I I would like them to do render him in the game. I want it to be a, an actual game within the game to run up to him, punch him in the back of the head every year. Yeah. And whoever does it the most each year win. I'm I'm I could I could get behind that. Yeah. Yeah, me too. So that's it for the questions. We've got eight minutes left or so. <gasps> uh let's talk about broccoli. Yeah. How, broccoli. how do you guys feel about broccoli? I love broccoli. It's green. I like it. I, I actually I, I like uh I like roasted broccoli. Roasted? I never had right. roasted broccoli. How about deep fried broccoli from the south? Uh, <laughs> only, only the <laughs> south could deep fried vegetable and be thrilled about it. I mean, <laughs> deep fried broccoli is pretty good in like tempera batter. So, fair enough. What? What's wrong, Trevor? I'm, I'm still trying to get over deep frying broccoli. What's wrong with that? Deep. Deep fry anything. Have this healthy, nutritious food. What should I do? With it? <laughs> deep fry the fuck out of it. Yeah, you know what? That's better than deep frying a Twinkie bar or whatever. At least you get yeah. some healthy in it. <laughs> do you? Do you? You sure yeah, about that? It's contained. The the healthy goodness <laughs> is contained in the sealed, deep fried prison of prison of uh healthiness that is the deep oh. fried broccoli it's a um it actually magnifies because all the healthiness is trying to get out but it can't because of the the coating and it just bounces off itself and multiplies so deep fried broccoli is actually healthier for you than regular broccoli <laughs> the worst thing i've ever heard I, I don't know for any of you but the worst thing i've ever heard is deep fried butter i think i like oh, a yes. pat of butter i've heard, I've heard of fried. such a thing yeah i've heard of such no. a thing no, that, that that just blows some of mine. What do you do with it? Oh, why do you do that? You eat what? it. Why? Why? What do you mean? You just you just get some butter, you deep fry it, and then you eat it. At this point, can't you just say, "I'm going to deep fry this deep frying batter"? So I'm just basically eating. Yes, a load I think of that's already a thing. Yeah, it's fry. it's a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> shiver, oh. shiver. <laughs> Welcome to America. You can deep fry everything. <laughs> they have the freedom to deep fry anything. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, here All we right. just here we just put poutine and cheese curds or gravy and cheese curds on everything. So yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's great. I don't know what you're talking about. Right. Totally normal. I don't know what I'm talking about either. That's <laughs> the problem. <laughs> we have run out Is of another question yet. Why no, we don't. Why don't you ask Fast Car? Where we can find him outside of this podcast. You're smart. Thank you. Hey, Fastcart, where can we find you outside of this podcast? You can find me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash fast underscore cart. Um, find me on the base radio tonight. We're having a um, 
uh, not a podcast, uh, an, an improv show, and I uh, start there in what three hours? Three hours? Two hours? Two hours? Two hours? Yeah, yeah. Do they gotta be on a base radio? I put that in in quick chat. You should all Deep go watch the, improv. You should all uh, go watch that. I believe, if I'm not completely mistaken, that uh, the captain's table is taking taking today off. So there's no Ooh. captain's table. So uh, go watch the improv show on the base. Yes. Yeah. Please do. You should. Uh, Nakara, when you're not on here, where can you be found? On here? The, um. When you're not here. <laughs> I, I know, but what I was going to say is... I'm sometimes here to cover rocket launches and for a space slash science show, which we are actually going to uh, veer slightly towards science this week, I think, is our plan. I, I think our plan is to veer slightly towards science. We need to uh, discuss that, actually, and figure out what we're doing for this lesson plan. But <laughs> who wants to discuss things? Our, our current lesson plan is uh, to do a, a brief overview of uh, climate change and the science yes. behind it. Uh, but prompted, wait, that, prompted that's large, a hoax. It's not real. Uh, <laughs> that's prompt, why we're doing it. <laughs> this, that's why we're doing this, but it's also prompted largely because um, basically, the, basically the entirety of Alberta is currently on fire. Um, not quite, but uh, okay. Significant. The, it's just the world's on fire, and uh, we're going to talk about that. So that'll be Tuesday, hopefully, unless we delay it a week because we're not prepared because we're never prepared because I'm busy kicking crackheads out of basements. Shiver, when you're not on here, where can you be found? Uh, I'm, I'm doing this improv show in a couple of hours with Fast Car over on the base. That's it. That's it? That's it. All right. And uh, I, I, I would move it into into Aristide basement. <laughs> I mean, I've got I've got two apartments open. Uh, and I can be found here. You can find all of us actually over on uh, Relay's Discord if you feel like uh, chatting with us there. Uh, there's a Relay Twitter too, and there's the Twitch thing here. And click the buttons, do the things. Um, next weekend, actually, let me talk about this quickly. Next weekend is going to be hellishly busy. So, uh, hopefully, this Tuesday we're going to do a science cast. Next Saturday, we're going to have the Relay Station as per usual, same bat time, same bat channel. Uh, or should I say same bad time, same bad channel. Oh. Uh, then the day after, the 9th and the 10th, we are going to be covering E3. Uh, I believe it's going to be myself, Nakara, Jake, and Papa Dolvac. Uh, we've got the Dolvac at least for the 9th. I'm not sure about the 10th yet. We're figuring it out. But we're going to be covering E3. We're going to be watching all the presentations, and we're going to be talking shit about it and drinking. So join us for that. It's going to be uh, actually a hell of a lot of fun as it is every year. Yes. And with that, <laughs> I've got two more minutes. I'd like to sing you, you a song. Dance. Oh, good. Shiver, are you okay if I sing a song? No. <laughs> oh. Uh, honestly, Judo, I have no idea what I'm looking forward to at E3. That's why I'm actually more excited about E3 than I think any other E3 recently, because I know nothing. I know I know that uh, we'll probably see K uh, Kojima's game, uh, Death Stranding. Yep. I know that we'll probably see uh, the Avengers game, which I'm kind Cyberpunk of excited. Uh, don't No one cares about Cyberpunk. It's crap. Um so I'm excited. I am. I'm literally just excited to see what we see. Okay, that we've now we've now arrived at David is mean. <laughs> that's that's where we're at now. I think that's, so that's I, pretty much. I'm it. excited to see Final Fantasy VII remake, but I'm wondering whether this is here's a question here to film two minutes. Do you think that the CIG should put out another trailer for for Squadron Forty Two like they did last year? Yes. Yeah, I think they should. Okay. Uh, and also, 
And and also uh, just to to cap this all off, uh, Final Fantasy VII is the worst of the Final Fantasies until ten. So uh, thank you all so much for for coming out and hanging out. Uh, it's been great, and uh, we'll see you later this week. I just want to say I just want to de- dedicate this ending to Mrs. Harris. I just want to ask Nicole real quick: Will you be my long, long man? 